Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 20th of August 2018. So the pound uh, still stuck in this sideways range. I think uh, the negotiations on Brexit uh, start again today. So it might start to see some sort of uh, movement back in this market. Uh, but at the moment, definitely stuck in a bit of a sideways range here. In order to move lower, you will want to see uh, this low taken out. Uh, that's for sure and then if it's taken out you'll need to move to the weekly chart to see where the next downside target is which is at uh, 125.885 that's where the next one is and then after that you can see how the market has these other areas of support all the way over to uh, here let me just bring those up for you there you go going back to uh, 2017 last year when we had a low of 119 for the pound there so again keep that in mind friday very quiet um barely 50 pip point range and uh, no surprise there because the market is uh, waiting for news but notice again how the market comes down to the 200 bar moving average you see the market being tested and then once we break through the pivot we see the market trading up to the R1 where 80% of the time the market will stop that's a 50 pip per range they're very very narrow and also of course coming through both of the moving averages there as well the 20 and the 50 news uh, today absolutely nothing uh, pointless uh, uh, waiting for these uh, minor players when it comes to uh, moving the markets so no news today is the easiest way to explain that one and then in the Dow uh, on Friday the market trading up to the 25 at 694 as we spoke of in the alert but notice the volume is uh, high compared to the previous days uh, range the market moving up uh, sharply on Thursday the range narrower on Friday and the volume greater so there's some selling pressure around as we approach this area of uh, resistance here, 25,694, just under the 25,700. And every time we've got to this point, really, uh, you can see why we've got this uh, selling pressure uh, area for this market. So watch the 76% area as well, because if we blast through, we're going to find resistance there as well. There's no news today, so the market's free to move. Uh, through and head for those target areas. Friday market moves up to the close of Friday, pulls back 76% as uh, we see here. Just take the extend right out. There you go. You can see uh, you'll see your eyes get used to seeing this. Uh, there's your 76% uh, retracement. So up, back down, then through the two averages there sitting on the psychological level there of uh, 25,550 then you've got uh, the close and also the 200 bar moving average what happens here you get some sort of uh, pressure the market trades sideways and then eventually is able to nudge through and then just work its uh, way up where does it come back to 200 bar average with uh, the high of uh, Thursday as well and then we get the late session blast which is uh, not uncommon where does it trade to exactly where we had 25694 and once you start putting all of these tools together it's very easy to forecast where the market's likely to go and if it isn't going to do that it's going to do the opposite so you have two scenarios that you can account for it's uh, the, putting the effort in to know what those two um, possibilities are going to be and then how to uh, trade them when they uh, turn up but the majority of the cases in particular the Dow because it's been a bull market since 2008 you will get that sort of 76 percent retracement either on the up or the down depending on uh, the sort of the media uh, the short-term trend of the market so for example if you've got uh, this situation now 
where the market has moved up. We know we've got some selling pressure. We're looking at the background of the market. We're above all three averages, but we could see the market do this first before it does this, or it will just do this. So either profit taking after the recent move, or it's got enough to, there's no selling around to actually drive through to the upside. So that will be gauged by looking in uh, the five minute chart. So this was the start of the session. The market uh, moves higher, pulls back 76%, and then look at the pivots and everything else and the averages, and you can work your way that way. Otherwise you could end up with a situation where the market moves uh, up, um, sorry, the other way around. The market moves down, up, uh, comes back 76%, and then you see profit taking. So you can gauge either way what the market's uh, likely to do there. So that's the Dow. It's um, looking um, bullish, as it has done for the last 10 years. There's nothing to stop it at this point in time, still in the summer holes. Uh, meanwhile, in uh, Bitcoin land, uh, this is stuck in a sideways range. That's about as good as it gets. Um, simple as that. So you can see we've got a couple of lower highs for the last uh, two days. That is the weekend, though, but I'm still banging on about uh, the downside on this. I still see the downside uh, as a preference to the upside on this. There's absolutely nothing to drive this market to the upside. You might get the odd day where you'll go up, but personally, uh, the shorts are in control of this market at the moment. As can be seen here, you've got all of these uh, sell signals. Uh, we have the one buy signal there, and it just uh, managed to get to the scalp before returning back. And then you've got the market at uh, the 76% area it came back. There's also, uh, again, just to show you that the sideways range in this market, if you go from the low here to this high, you'll see the market stop bang on 76%. And I can do this all day long. Uh, again, I can see from there to there, that looks like it's come back 76%. So once again, 76%. So these areas are, if you you know want short term ups and downs, then all you need to do is to mark up 76% uh, retracement. And you will be able to see what the market's going to do at those areas in a smaller time frame, for example, down in the 15 minute time frame. And then you can uh, take your cue from uh, from there. So there's uh, inside of what's happening. That would be the 76% that you see uh, here, the high of there. And when we just had uh, drawn in, which I've removed. So let me just pop that back in. So there, 6.5. 36 I can go inside of here and I can see that uh, the high of this bar is uh, 6562 but in this area here you will have uh, the uh, resistance area that we've uh, just looked at in the four hour there 6536 and the easiest way to do that I'll just ratchet that up a bit get a horizontal line drop it on the chart 6536 and there's your 6536 just at that area so we know that this is a good uh, risk reward area if you wanted to go short and get a couple of hundred uh, dollars out of the uh, the market there and then of course uh, here's your target for the downside you've got the dp level there and uh, just for good measure because we haven't got them on this chart i could uh, throw these on and uh, you can see why the market stopped at this area as well, sitting on the 50 bar moving average at the DP level. And the got the uh, 20 bar moving average uh, above. Uh, it would be nice if it came down to here, but uh, this is what's stopping it, the uh, DP level. Simple as that, and that's why it sat on it now for the last uh, hour. The market moves higher. It's got to go through the 20 bar moving average. It's got the close of uh, the Sunday session and then uh, the high which we can see here so it's going to need something to, to blast through where's it going to go to and go back to this and I can see that that's the area where it's going to find resistance and if I wanted a longer term target I can just see exactly where they are and again you can see the sideways channel that this market's in so there's a pretty good chance that it's likely to head down that way 
but again you can read it you can see exactly where we are as far as the market's concerned you can do this all day long uh, drawing in these lines and watching the market uh, trade to it right that will do it uh, for this one no news today Dow possibly up as uh, there's nothing to stop any sort of selling or we may have profit taking as it's been up uh, quite sharply over the last few days again uh, that you can determine that uh, when the market opens pound sideways waiting for Brexit news and a Bitcoin stuck in a sideways trading range uh, as well okay that will do it for this one if there is uh, anything to report I will let you know but other than that uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one